thank you, listeners. We're back with you on the hotline. I'm now inside banking with NCB. Thank you so much for joining me, Karian McCurty Simmons, Manager, Retail Banking Division. Hi, good to have you again. Good to be here again, Emily. Welcome. I think we started last week, right? Yes, we did. And we got through quite a bit, but we didn't get through to all. So I take you back to talk about the different cash management solutions available and to finish where we left off. Go right ahead, Ms. McCurty Simon. All right. Thank you much, Emily. Mm -hmm. So last week, we had an insightful conversation, I may say, mm -hmm. on some of the cash management solutions available from NCD for our small and medium-sized enterprises, and we commonly call them SMEs. So we highlighted the fact that SME businesses are the engine of our economy. Um, they generate op employment opportunities, they promote economic well-being, and they fuel sustainable economic development. And we also mentioned that for some of these businesses, there are challenges, including limited resources and not having a dedicated finance team to manage their cash flow. And this management of cash flows include the ability to be easily make deposits at the banks. Mm -hmm. So today we'll be continuing that discussion and telling our listeners about other convenient channels that are available to SMEs to make deposits. I, I don't want to disturb you too much because I want you to flow with what you have. But we had a lot of questions on WhatsApp and Twitter last week with the remote check deposit system. And right. quite a few people, particularly from outside Jamaica jurisdictions that have the check deposit system, they say that when they scan the checks in Canada, in Cayman, and I think parts of the United States, they don't ever have to take the hard copy check in. Why is it that there's a requirement for the hard copy check to be taken in for the remote check deposit system? All right, so as each new system is implemented, um, Emily, you know that it goes through phases. Yes. So at this stage, we are at the initial phase of our remote check capture. Um, very few financial institutions have that in place now. So we are also looking at ways to improve the remote check capture, and that is very well one of the things that we're looking on as well, looking at as well. Yes, that's exactly what I thought, that, you know, it's new, new to us, so we have to take time and teeth first before we, you know, jump out and walk fully. Yeah. Right, because we also want to ensure that whatever it is that is being scanned is really what is supposed to be scanned. Mm -hmm. All right, so take me now to quick credit. Yeah. All right, so we, we spoke about, we barely mentioned the quick credit last week. Um, but what this is, is an, is an express cash lodgement solution and it's facilitated through a mobile application or an online portal. Mm -hmm. And this service is available to those customers whose lodgements are either placed in a drop box at any NCD location or it is collected directly from their place of business by Beryllium. And we know that Beryllium is formerly Garzman Armored Limited. Mm -hmm. Our customers will be required to submit the details of the lodgement bag, that is the account number, the deposit amount and the bag number in a quick credit app. And the customer's account will be credited within one hour after the lodgement bag has been collected and scanned by Beryllium Limited. What this is basically saying is that once Beryllium collects and they upload all that information, even before counting the cash, the, the, the lodgement will be in the customer's account. However, that is, is um, only for some of our customers because right now we have to be screening and making sure that once um, the customers submit the application, it is customers who are going to put exactly what they have or what they have said that they have put in the bag, put exactly that in the bags. And in addition to that, we have recently revised our cash handling policy. So now our SMEs may deposit up to $3 million without the handling charge um, once they're using this facility. So let me see if I can take this slowly. So you have, um, there are these lodgement bags. So there are lodgement bags, yes. Yes, and you give those to these respective SMEs. So, so all of our customers will use the same lodgement bags. But if they, if they are um, accessing the quick credit, once they've been approved for quick credit, yes. what happens is that once they either drop the bag off at the branch or 
beryllium um, picks up the bag from them yes. within one hour of beryllium scanning the information that's on the bag and um, that's the account number the deposit amount and the bag number once they have included that information in the quick credit app then the monies will automatically go into their account so what happens oh. from time to time is that once beryllium picks up the bag mm -hmm. it waits until it gets back to base before it is counted Right, and mm -hmm. after it is counted is when the monies are credited to the customer's account. Right. What we're saying is that we're crediting the monies to the customer's account prior to it even being counted. If there are errors, of course, we'll debit or credit the customer's account accordingly. Huh. This is interesting. So, who 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 scans the information into the Quick Credit app? Is that the customer or the beryllium representative? So the customer inputs the information in the quick credit app. Okay. And then that information is um, verified by the beryllium representative. At what point does the beryllium representative verify it? This is when, when the beryllium is, goes to pick up the bag or when? When they have picked up the bag and they're in their truck. Oh, so what do they do when they're in the truck? They have a, they have a separate scan for the same same bag? What they will do is that they will check the information that has been entered by the customer, mm -hmm. by the app, check to ensure that the same information is on the bag, yes. and then that information will be uploaded to the customer's account. That's the amount of the lodgement. Right. And this is only ah. for cash, not for checks, because we have the remote check capture for checks, and this part of the um, quick credit, that's only for cash. So it means, therefore, that for every beryllium truck that is coming to do the quick cash pickup they have to have more than one person could be a couple well in the vehicle to do this sort of well, um, cross-checking well the truth is that's the purview of beryllium um i would suspect so that they have more than one person on yes. the truck yes i would suspect so right but that's not a stipulation from you that's not a stipulation from us because remember they run their operations differently from us. Okay. And then when the money, so the, the customer puts the information in the quick credit app, quick, quick mm -hmm. credit app, there's verification right. of the details on the bag by the beryllium representative when they right. are en route to the bank, for example. Then the money gets into the bank, the counting starts. The customer is not present when the counting is taking place. So Correct. if there's a discrepancy, why should the customer accept that what you tell them is in the bag is actually what is in the bag and what the customer and not what the customer put in where there's a discrepancy? But, but, well, the truth is every single customer's lodgement is counted. The bag is open because a tamper evident bag. So the bag is opened on the camera. So if there is a discrepancy oh. and the customer is not happy with the discrepancy, there is a recording that is available and it can be viewed by the customer yes. from start of the counting of the bag, from the bag is being opened to the to the bag um, being counted and, and, and the money is being credited into their account. Oh. So we definitely have a, an almost foolproof system for that. And truth be told is that, We've not been having any issues with our customers in terms of to say that there is um, discrepancies on their accounts, that monies are short, because once they do, if the customer has a discrepancy and they want to view um, what has happened, then that is available to them. Oh, very good. So you don't routinely send the, the video, like a 10-second snippet or whatever of the video. You only send it if there's a discrepancy and the, and the customer is saying... I did put X amount in it. I don't know how Y ends up in it. Yeah. Correct. Correct. And you don't understand why. Yes. Because it's hundreds of lodgements that are being done. So it really would not be a, a good thing for us to be doing that because we could be doing other things. Yes. Nice. Anything else on the quick credit solution you want to tell us then? Um, I spoke to you about the fact that we also have um, we, we looked at our cash handling policy so our customers can now deposit up to $3 million without the handling charge using this facility. I heard that. Um, up to $3 million. Yes. Okay. And, 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 and after the $3 million, then what's that handling charge? All right, so it's four dollars and thirteen cents per one million dollar of deposit amount in excess of okay. that. Okay. 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 
Nice, nice, nice. So have a lot of people been making use of any of these solutions that you're telling me or some of them are virtually new? Well, um, as I said last week, the remote check capture, it has been around for about a year. Mm -hmm. The quick credit is is um, a little bit newer than that. And we are definitely solely introducing our customers to it. Customers like it because um, SMEs really want to know that their money is getting to their accounts as quickly as possible. So we are steadily making headway in signing up our customers for it. There's an agreement that the customer has to sign. Um, of course, we want their company stamp and seal because we want to ensure that this is the company that has signed up for it. Mm -hmm. But yes, we are steadily making some progress. And the quick credit app, tell us where to find that. All right, so the um the quick credit app it can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. Mm -hmm. However, for customers who are non um Android users, they may use a quick credit portal or it is easier for them to contact their NCB business bank for additional support on that. Mm -hmm. It's actually a Play Store, but it's a it's a long URL. So we prefer for the customers to um, speak to their business banker or yes. the business banking support in the branches, and they will certainly get that information. Right. And for the customer who is still back in the 20th century and who, you know, they want to come in and to drop off checks and whatever else or to hand something to somebody, do you still have those outlets available for those sorts of customers? It is definitely available, um, Emily, but we certainly do encourage our customers to use as far as is possible the digital solutions because it, it, it definitely saves them a lot of time. And as I would have mentioned last week, time is money for our SME customers. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're, we're not going to be turning away our customers, certainly not, but we prefer for them to use our digital channels as far as is possible. And if anybody wants some more information on all the solutions, they may have missed the program last week, they caught a part of it this week, or any other information about all that you've spoken about, how do they reach you? All right, so um, our interested businesses can schedule a visit to speak with a business banker or any of our officers who support our SME customers by emailing the SME Customer Service Hub, and that is at smecxhub at jncb.com. And I repeat, it's smecxhub at jncb.com. Or you can walk into any branch of NCB and request to speak to a, a business banker or a business banking support officer. Good. Thank you so much. Really good having you last week and this week. And thank you for coming back on a point to clear up because we did have a lot um, last week to digest. So thank you for completing it this week. Thank you. Have a great Thank you for having me. Have a great weekend. Carrie Ann McCarty Simmons, Manager, Retail Banking Division at NCB. That's Inside Banking with NCB.